program is brought to you in living color. Hey there, everyone. It's me. Um, I wanted to do an informational video today because I haven't done something like that in a very long time. I haven't felt very uh, like I know more than other people in a very long time. Um, this is my new setup in my dorm room, and I'll probably you'll probably see more of this pretty soon. Um, but for now, I'll just show you this corner. I've got these little Boston speakers sped up here. I don't want to shade the entire room. I've got my good Kraftwerk poster up there, which sometimes likes to fall down. But um, and here's the turntable, and I thought I'd show you guys how to do this. By the way, we're listening to um, Pocket Calculator right now. Looks like. Yeah. This is an original. This isn't even one of the reprints. This is an original. Pretty slick. But um, yeah, I thought I would show you guys how to set your tone arm tracking weight because this is a vital um, <clears throat> part to getting a correctly balanced turntable, especially if you, if you have an expensive cartridge. It can be very important that you um, that you actually set the tracking weight correct because if not, you can um, you can put too much pressure on the cartridge or on the needle, and that will that can damage the cartridge and can also be bad for records. So let me show you how you correctly set the weight. Now I, I do not know the exact model of this cartridge because it's um, it's not made anymore by Audio-Technica. They um, stopped producing it a little while ago so it's it's hard to find any information on it at all. But um, usually what these types of uh, cartridges are set from about um, 0.7 to say 1.5 grams. That's usually the, the safe range. So normally I just have it at about 1 gram. And I'm going to show you how to correctly set the weight of the cartridge. Now if you'll notice right now I'm sort of sitting down so it may be a little difficult for me. I'm gonna go ahead and set the tracking weight to zero. So this is zero grams. Now if I line it up perfectly with the line here, and I need to sort of get up and block all the light, but if I do that, this should be perfectly aligned so that nothing moves. So if I unlock the tone arm, it should gently rise up a little bit and then stay there. Now it's a little high. Um, I think that's because I added the piece of tape on there to keep the uh, tone arm or to keep the weight uh, where it should be. But ideally, when you have your th when you have your thing set to zero, it should balance correctly. Now the way you can I'm gonna hold on for just a second. I'm gonna place this here. No, that's not gonna stay. Hold on just a second. Okie dokie. So now that the thing is removed, I can show you more easily. I'm gonna bring the light around and turn it on. There we go. Much better. So, what I've done is I've attached a piece of tape just to remind me, but I'm just going to reset my tracking weight. Now, normally what this will do is this will spin around and, and you have to set the tracking weight yourself. You have to set the number yourself. So say this thinks it's at 2.5 or so right now. So what I need to do is I need to adjust this by spinning the large weight and some tone arms, some tone arms will be different. Some, when, some are more like this. This is a standard Audio Technica, uh, I think, or maybe it's a Technics uh, 1950, something like that. Um, but they'll all generally have this. They'll have two different rings. And before you look at the numbers one, you need to spin this and actually get it so that the tone arm floats perfectly. So, as you can see, still too much weight. And I'll, uh oh, move it around too much. Say, see, now that's too, too little weight. And see how it's floating right up? Now, if I adjust it a little more, give it a little more frontward weight, maybe a little less. I want to get it so it's floating perfectly. And it is very hard to do sometimes. Um, I'd say that's even better than I had it earlier. That's, It's pretty darn close. It's not perfect. You can look over the platter and make sure that you're, you're okay. It needs a tiny little bit less on the back. I'm going to see if I can, if I can adjust it just a hair that may be too much. These things are so delicate and sensitive to everything. I'm gonna go ahead and call that good. Um, so now once you have that set, you can go ahead and lock your tone arm back down just so you don't risk flipping it over and gonna lock the needle cover as well, just to be safe. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna spin the plastic bit, make sure the metal bit does not spin, and you're gonna set that to zero. Now that's your calibrated thing. That means that everything you turn from now on, if you turn them together, it will actually, it should match the number that's on here. So what I usually do is I just stick a piece of tape on there, though it will add a tiny bit of late weight. So I'm just gonna stick a piece of tape on there, just so I can turn them all as one. And hold on, sort of tricky to film this with my left hand. Now, 
if I want the tracking weight to be about, um, I'm going to say I'm going to set it at about one. I usually just set it at about one. I should just be able to turn this to one. And that means it's taking off just enough pressure off the back to let this rest at exactly one gram. Now, I do not have a tiny little uh, measuring uh, scale to show you guys, but you should be able to feel it and feel it's very light. And some, obviously, some cartridges need to be heavier, a lot heavier. Lots of uh, sort of lower end, uh, like quickie turntables that you buy at, like, a, um, I don't know, like a um, Urban Outfitters or something like that, like those little cheap plastic turntables, often don't have a, um, a tracking weight, like on the back of these things. Um, because they have specially designed cartridges that do not need to be balanced. And those are okay, they're generally, I'd, I'd say a little bit more, just trying to make sure nobody pops in on me while I'm making a video. Um, they're generally a little uh, harsher on records, but um, if you're going to spend the money, I suggest you do, get something like this. Um, this one was, thankfully, um, I inherited this, which is nice. I just got a weird little bit of lag there. And um, yeah, so that's basically how you set your tracking weight. Now I'm going to flip this up. And then I'm going to pick a track. Putting this without skipping too much. It's okay, I didn't start right on it. But that should be a perfectly tra set tracking weight. Now that's that should be the safest for your records. And that should be... Oh. Okay, next song. Um, yeah, so that's how you set your tone arm tracking weight. I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, I recently figured out how to do this. I never realized what I was supposed to do. And I looked it up and I was like, oh, I've probably been ruining some records. Though I probably haven't. I usually have it set pretty light because I know it's a expensive cartridge but yeah there's the little little stylus if I can get it to focus maybe not not responding damn it iOS 6 it's making my iPod all slow but yeah thank you guys for watching hope you have a great day